Hey guys, welcome to a uh, little guide here. I know I released a text version of this boss and I felt like I should try something new, so I'm actually releasing an audio version kind of discussing what we're doing here. Um, so, as you can see, uh, this is the Course on War boss, SDO, uh, and SDO is actually a pretty simple boss. He has two main abilities, which we'll talk about here in a second. As far as music goes, Florence and the Machine, it's a remix, it's on the screen. Um, but you can see that we're pretty spread out here, and that's what you want to do. You want to have the tank tank him over by the speeder in the back, back right on the platform, and basically you're going to keep healing the tank, let the tank go. As far as I know, there's no tank swapping. We did have a level 30 tank when we were doing this, so bear with me here. Um, you can see we had three sages, and the three of us were actually able to heal pretty well. One of the troopers also helped to the point too. Um, right there is actually the first of his two abilities that shows up in the text of the video. You'll get a little target marker over your body, and you'll see this beam, and you'll see it come out numerous times during this fight. Um, and basically what the beam is, is it's a power beam, um, and you see it has multiple colors. There is the purple wisps, the um, green, the blue, and then there's a red as well. Um, and the way this works is actually, it's actually pretty interesting. So, uh, when you first get the beam, it's going to be between you and another person. If you go out far enough, uh, you'll get this wispy purple, and it'll explode with this damage. Uh, that's what you want to really do. You can also uh, go out a certain amount and get the green beam. Now the green beam increases your damage by 20% rather than damaging you. But you gotta be careful because if multiple people have the beams, you get hit. Now right there you saw me die. Uh, that was because the beam was put between two of us right next to each other. And it's pretty close proximity, I want to say a couple meters. And um, basically what will happen is, if you're too close, the beam will explode. So you definitely want to run out of the beams with that. Now you can see me running back here, and yes, you can run back during the fight. It's actually really easy to do, uh, as long as you know, your tank stays alive. It's a quick run. I just force, uh, force speed a few times, jump back up, and not a big deal. So continuing on the fight, uh, you'll see the tank has a debuff right there. Um, stacking up to 8, and 9, and 10. Uh, and basically what this debuff does is it's called uh, Ionize, if I'm not mistaken. Now, this debuff will actually uh, make the tank take much higher damage. Now, we had a level 30 tank, and it took all three of us to heal him up, so this is probably one of those abilities you might want to tank swap for, so I'd get two tanks. I'm not quite sure. I haven't experimented with it, but if you have, like, an equivalent level, you know, 15 to 19 tank, I think this is going to be a lot more difficult, uh, so be careful with that. I would have two tanks to swap on and off, because if it was taken down half of our three tanks, I'll have to three stages to heal them. Uh, pretty big problem. So, that's that. Um, it's a fairly easy boss, as you can see on the screen. I mean, nothing too serious, nothing too difficult to do. Uh, just really, really easy, as long as you can manage everything. I know one thing we should have done from the beginning is spread out our range a little more so that the beams are more attacking and knocking off people, but that's about it. So, that's uh, the audio guide for it too. I felt like I should be able to explain it. Remember to check out my other stuff if you enjoyed this guide. I'm um, kind of experimenting with some new software, so that's why I can do this. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching guys, I appreciate it. And feel free to check out my other stuff. If you want more guides in the future, let me know. Alright, see you guys.